So you have got Google Assistant on your phone. Now what? Google Assistant is a very powerful tool and now it is the new name for personalized voice assistant. There are lots of awesome stuff which you can do without even touching your Android device. But not all users are aware with the true potential of Google Assistant and that's exactly what I'm going to show you guys. In this video, I'm going to show you some really useful tricks and commands which will definitely improve your Android experience and make your life more simpler. Excited? So let's get started. Say OK Google to unlock device. Now, how we normally unlock our Android devices? Hmm, I guess you will say by using pin, pattern or fingerprint scanner. But do you know with the help of Google Assistant, you can now unlock your device without even touching it. OK Google by just adding your voice to trusted voice. So now when you say OK Google, your device will automatically unlock just like that. Now you can enable that under Assistant setting. Go to setting menu of Google Assistant. Beneath that you will see OK Google detection. Tap it. From there you can turn on the toggle for trusted voices to give assistant permissions to unlock your device when it hears you say OK Google. And now you are done. Control phone settings. There are lots of phone settings which we need to take care over the time on our Android devices. And settings like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, flashlight are quite often used by users. But do you know, you can also use Google Assistant to control most of the phone setting found in the notification shade. Like you can say OK Google, adjust the screen brightness to 50%. Or you can also toggle on your Wi-Fi by just saying switch on the Wi-Fi. You can literally toggle all the settings found in the notification shade like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, flashlight and even you can control the phone's volume. Isn't it cool? Real-time translation If you are one of those who like to travel too much, then folks, you must definitely try Google Assistant. And in case if you are wondering, what the hell did I just said? Then hold on a second and let me explain that. In Google Assistant, you can do real-time translation for words or phrases from English to any of the languages with Google Translate support. And I guess Google is very good at supporting a large number of languages spoken throughout the world. To ask Assistant to do real-time translation for you, say OK Google followed by your phrase or word like translate hello friend how are you in German. Or you can also try something like how to say airport in Spanish. After using it for just few days, I was really surprised to know that how fast, accurate and responsive it is. And that's why I would highly recommend this to you because this will definitely help you out with your traveling. Navigation As we all know, Google Map is one of the world's most popular app which is used for navigation. Whether you are traveling or driving to an unfamiliar part of a town for the first time or just looking for traffic updates on your daily commute, Google Map is there to help. But very few users are aware of the fact that now Google Map is fully integrated with Google Assistant to make your navigation a lot more easier. Simply ask for direction to an address or even something less specific such as nearest petrol pump or maybe a superstore and Google Assistant will automatically process your request and open Google Maps with the coordinates plugged in and ready to go. Simply tap the directions button to start your journey. Get the work done like a real assistant. Now what does the term assistant really mean? Hmm, let's ask this to Google Assistant. What is the meaning of assistant? An assistant is basically a person who assists a specific person with their daily business or personal task. But in 2016, we have Google's virtual assistant which will also get the same work done and help you out with your daily task. Now you must be wondering how, so let me show you that. Tasks like setting a reminder, calling a colleague, sending important text or email to someone, setting up alarm and even you can ask any question and the Google assistant will provide you with a relevant answer. Like you can ask. What is the current stock price of Google? The price right now for Alphabet Inc. Class A stock is $864.81, down 0.13% from yesterday. You can also ask some general things like Call Raj. Calling Raj Mobile. 
Set a reminder. What's the reminder? Tell me a joke. Okay, here you go. How does our solar system keep its pants up? With an asteroid belt. Beatbox for me. Okay, put your hands together for MC sound file. You can do lots of things with your Google Assistant and yeah, I know it's not a real one but who needs a real one if you have this? Or maybe you do. Control music. Now I am a guy who used to listen lots of music while traveling or just sitting alone and I guess some of you also do. But do you know you can use Google Assistant to find and play music but as of now the app support is pretty limited. By default Google Assistant will try to fulfill your request using Google Play Music and YouTube. If you search for a specific song or artist such as Play Sia's Cheap Thrills, your request will be completed with YouTube or Google Play Music. Also some third party apps such as Pandora and Spotify are also supported by Google Assistant. You will just have to include the third party app in your request. If you use another third party app for music then you have to go old school and you have to ask the assistant to open that particular app. Stay updated with the world. If you are one of those who don't like to wait for the newspaper, now no need to wait. Just prepare a cup of coffee and just ask assistant for good morning. And it will start reading the latest news from your selected sources just like this. Good morning. Good evening, Sam. The time is 10.06 p.m. The weather in New Delhi currently is 69 degrees in haze with a high of 82 degrees. Have a good one. Here's the latest news. If you want to know current condition of the weather, just say what is it like outside. If you don't want to listen to news feeds and want to check out the news about a particular topic, your Google Assistant can do that as well. Simply launch the Assistant and say like what's the news about Android. Fastest way to do calculations. If you are a student, then the next trick is definitely for you. Personally, I am not good at calculations but your Google Assistant is. It can solve some really big calculations within seconds just like this. What is 253 multiplied by 786 divided by 92 plus 56 multiplied by 32? The answer is 3953.5. Hmm, that was really impressive. And I think it's a way faster than using a dedicated calculator for the same task. So guys these were some really useful tricks which you can try out with your assistant and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you do then do consider subscribing to our channel for more future videos like this and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So guys this is Samir signing off and I will see you guys in my next one.